if you can't do this, then there's maybe a few things you can't do as well. Actually, it might just be that you have stiffness with your neck, stiffness with your upper back. Where does that come from? So if we assess someone's posture and we look at them in the frontal plane and we notice a lower shoulder, maybe a rounded shoulder, uh, the head tilt are signs of asymmetries and an asymmetry can never be normal. It's the lack of symmetry. It's the lack of coherence. It's moving away from homeostasis. So none of this can actually be normal. And so what's the number one reason for these findings? It's actually by assessing the ocular receptor. So how does that work? Dr. Brico in developing posturology developed criteria of what's normal. And when it comes to the eye receptor and we look at convergence, well, you shouldn't be surprised, but what's an absence of asymmetry, it's symmetry. And then you can't really negotiate symmetry and say, oh, well, symmetry is normal up until 10 centimeters or let's say four inches away from the face. No, there's still another four inches to go. So if we're gonna test pursuit in convergence, what's normal is no insufficiency of convergence. So it's convergence to the root of the nose. And what's normal in saccade? Well, it's the same thing. It's convergence to the root of the nose. And so when we achieve convergence, full convergence on pursuit in saccade, the head is able to rest on the shoulders with really good alignment, which maximizes and optimizes the mechanics of the cervical spine. So we regain more mobility in the neck. We decrease stiffness in the upper back. And those darn knots that uh, most people have in the shoulder blade can actually start dissipating for good. And so normality criteria that we have in posturology for convergence is, uh, is the same as we would have for any other area of the body. So what we look for is symmetry, full convergence to the root of the nose in pursuit, but also in saccade.